Oh, well, so there are a few showers, yes, <laughs> but yeah. not everybody's getting the rain. Uh, so far, the coverage has been isolated, so it's only in localized areas uh, like the Lower Keys, even the Middle Keys. Better conditions now, though, in the Middle Keys, and then a few areas in Broward, but uh, up in Broward, this is uh, in Lardale by the Sea. It looks gorgeous. Uh, you can certainly make it a beach day because for the early afternoon hours, Things are going to stay dry on the radar. It's going to feel very muggy, though. Uh, but we're not expecting the other round of rain until late in the afternoon. Now, there's still a few showers developing offshore uh, near the coast in southern Broward. But for the most part, as you can tell, it's really isolated. So there's still a lot of sunshine to work with. And that's going to heat things up, by the way. Temperatures are still in the low 70s at this moment. The rain has tapered off for areas that we're getting the rain, like in Lardale Lakes, North Lardale and Margate. So as you can tell, finally the showers coming to an end there, jumping all the way down into the Middle Keys. Also the rain tapering off. Still a little bit of cloud cover for you, but it is not tapering off just yet for the lower keys. Kudjo Key had some heavy rainfall. Now it's lining up a little bit, but some moderate rainfall pushing into big Copic Key at the moment and some light rainfall finally arriving into Key West. All of this is still going to track mainly towards the West and eventually it's going to fizzle out. So just dissipate as it tracks westward by noontime. Now at noontime, we're also seeing mainly dry conditions, just a mix of sun and clouds. Very muggy out there this afternoon. Then by 5 p.m. showers pop up over the Everglades. There's going to be now West flow coming in and so everything that develops inland is going to push towards the east metro areas. So between 5 p.m. till tonight, even 10 o'clock, we'll be dealing with a few showers out there. So becoming showery once again late today and tonight, all thanks to a trough of low pressure. But we're also tracking a front right now. It is stalled over North Florida. And that will eventually come in as a cold front, but it's really weak. It's going to take its time and it won't clear until Tuesday. So for the rest of today, here's a look at your hourly. So best chance for any showers till 11 a.m. Then we dry things out, but the shower activity begins once again into late this evening and tonight. So when the sun is going down and tonight you'll be uh, if you're out and about, you'll need the rain gear uh, tomorrow. Still the slight chance for a few showers and it's still warm because Remember that front has really slowed down. Then by Tuesday, we'll feel less humid. Not a big cool down, but at least temperatures start to get down into those 60s for those morning lows, upper 70s for daytime highs. By the way, it's going to get really windy towards the end of the week.